Okay, this is another one of the Enrico flies that I tie. Uh, we're going to use what's called an Andromedus brush. This one happens, it looks white, but it's actually called sky blue. Um, we're going to use a must add 34007, size number 4, a uh, couple of rubber legs, a small bead chain eye that's uh, actually been powder coated chartreuse. And that's really all there is to the fly. It's, it's very quick. With these Andromedus brushes, they've got wire down the, down the center first thing you've got to do is clip that that back before we can use it. I'm going to go ahead. This is a pair of gate shears. You, you don't want to cut this wire with your good scissors for sure. Uh, okay, this is uh, Flymaster Plus. It's chartreuse and I've got it threaded down the hook. I'm going to start off with a pair of bead chain eyes that have been powder coated um, chartreuse you can buy these they're painted and I'm gonna put it on the top of the hook okay we're clear back at the back you can see right where it's bending downhill now I'm gonna pop this out of the vise I'm gonna turn it over get it right there at the just in front of the bead chain or just behind the bead chain and the next is this uh, chartreuse uh, rubber leg I'm gonna right behind the bead chain eyes fold that across my th thread bring it in put a couple of wraps of thread on make sure that it stays right on top you put a couple of loose wraps first and then pull down tight that way it stays where it's supposed to uh, rubber legs have a tendency to roll over the hook put a good thread base down Then we're going to tie this brush in right on top of where I tied in the rubber leg. Okay. Secure it down pretty good. And then I'm going to move my thread back to the hook eye. Okay, the trick with this stuff, since it's two sided, is we need to get all the material on one side of the hook and you just do that by stroking it a little bit and it's going to take approximately six wraps of this to get to the eye of the hook you don't want it really tight you want to leave a little bit of space in between so I'm going to palmer this here's my first wrap kind of stroking back as we go making sure everything stays on that side there's two there's three there's four and one for the governor okay now I'm going to kind of stroke my fibers out of the way and I'm going to over wrap that lead wire three or four good wrap tight wraps okay I'm going to flip it over and clip that wire again with your gate shears, not your scissors.
And I'm going to finish it. Okay, whip finish. Excuse me. And trim that off. Okay, the rest of this is really just kind of getting in here and picking your material around. You can use your bodkin for this. Kind of give it a part. Pick it out. Okay, that was really fast, wasn't it? I'm going to try to bring this camera in just a little bit so you can get a little closer look at it. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Thanks.